station. Well, it's the best I could do. There's the car phone service and all the rental places are closed. Serious, well, maybe if you give me more time, I can... Yes, I know. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm still here. Marry me, bitch! But I'll find you, I promise. Are you sure that there's no chop? Marry me! Jonathan. Yeah! I love you. Oh! <laughs> How are you going to tell them? I'll just tell them a little blue line appeared in both windows. It's going to be okay. We can deal with the baby. Don't say it. You know, I'm not ready to hear that word. You can deal with anything, Ra. I've always known that. Look, you better go home, mate. Eh? I'll be waiting for you when you get back. I'll be waiting for both of you. Now, Leo, come on! I'll get my diary out. Dad doesn't know, does he? He had a heavy night. I wanted to let him sleep in. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly arriving in Chesterfield. Thank you for travelling with the great men. Job tonight, Nick. Just one last look, eh? Oh. Puts a rolling pin down your trousers, then. Freak it up, you two. Honeymoon starts when we get this lot cleared away. Good. Do it. I've got some business in town. I'll see you back at the lockup. Be safe, Nick. As ours, sweetheart. Sheffield. Lunchtime. I'll be in Sheffield just after nine. I'm on my way. No, I'm on the train. What, my great they got better things to do with a wheel me around. Well, look, just run yourself a hot bath and don't forget the breathing. Anita, honey, you don't do a diary at the beginning of the day, you do it at the end. It's a story Dad told me. Keeping a diary, eh? Good idea, look, I wish I had. Write it all down, eh? Don't want to forget all them good things, do you? Right. 
your room ununited. Just go and sit down with your mother. Go and sit down. You stay close to her. Look, what the hell is wrong with this train? I'm late. I'm, I'm very late. We're arriving in Sheffield in just a few minutes. Probably cost more than your house, Sonny. So chill. Get him 
Has anyone know how long we've been down here? My name is Detective Sergeant Ian Hart. They're dead. I want you all to take a few deep breaths and stay calm. We are getting out of here, and we are getting out of here now. Oh, I want one person to climb through that broken window and try and free the rubble that might be blocking the doors at either end of this carriage. I'll go! Not you. Why not me? Not you. I'll go. I'll do it. I'm not so it's all right, I've got you, I've got you. Go Elizabeth, take it easy then. Well, maybe I should go, eh? I'm going. I know I'm only a girl, so if I cry off a bit of nail, then a man can come and get me, eh? Okay. Carriage. Oi! Yo! Where do you think you're going? Where did you 
sister. She's over here. She's got back on the train. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Calm down. Right. Here. Hold this. Yourself killed over this. I'm not the one who's gonna make you. Present for you. What is this? Ask her. I'm off the same way that fellow went. Yeah, I won't go there, you know me. No, you might bring it all down on us. It's okay, it's a bruise. My dad's going to be really worried about us. Yeah, I know. My folks are waiting for me back at the station. They must be going out their minds. I don't want to have that dream again, Mum. What? What dream? The dream on the train. The one where I couldn't breathe. Mr Hart, were you unconscious back on the train? Don't you remember a dream? I do. Vividly. I was underwater. It was freezing cold. I couldn't breathe. That was my dream. I didn't dream. somewhere. Stand back a bit. Stand right back, look.
How bad is it? Well, it ain't Senator Parks. This. This was in your bag. What was it? Some sort of gas? It wasn't a gas. It knocked us out. What the hell was it? Believe me, you've got bigger problems. That's right. I've got my temper to control. That looks like the old sweet factory off the Chesterfield Road. This can't be right. rock 12 miles in diameter strikes the earth and energy waves fan out over the surface and they rock everything up like a carpet. Well, we were 6,000 miles from the point of impact. And point of impact? What? Central Zambia. Most of Africa's gone. Huge tidal surges would have been created in the Indian Ocean. Can you imagine? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's it up there. Do you know they have a fag machine in here? Mum, Mum, come in. Water, clean water. How do we get to it? I can't believe this. This equipment was spotless a couple of weeks ago. It's all rusty. Be careful, you two. Mercury. Can't drink this. We could boil it. This water has a very high heavy metal content. It's safer to drink from a toilet bowl than this. Hold still. That's where they made the mints. Upstairs. Gobstoppers, umbugs, creams. We could smell it down the road. The kids on the estate were mad for it, that smell. Bloody wolves out at the moon they were. That mixture of chocolate and mint. It was in the houses, on the curtains, in the gardens. In the summer it was like the old estate was made of chocolate and mint. This, this won't have happened in Kettering, will it? Five months ago, a body of rock broke away from the asteroid belt. I'll be on the orbit of Mars. Please, this isn't helping. Shut up. Everyone was tracking the asteroid. They tagged it SD-426. Everyone? 
This rock hits Zambia and half a Sheffield falls over. An asteroid the size of a football could hit your house and make a crater that swallow your whole street, plus a few adjacent ones. SD-426 is about the size of Birmingham. This is ridiculous. There's nothing on the news about an asteroid. There's been a programme about it on the telly, surely. Like that one on the other night about the earthquakes. Oh, this information was classified. I mean, nobody even believed it was going to happen. Jonathan was a uh, lone voice. Hey, well, you know hey, what about it. Take it easy. Hey! And you know what happened to us on that train. What's this? Okay. Harriet Ambrose. What's Ark? We freeze people. <laughs> Dead people. Live ones. Why? So that they can sleep through situations such as this. Your gas froze us on that train. It's not a gas. It's a microparticulate suspension. <laughs> It's magic fairy dust, okay? Ark makes magic fairy dust and we use it to put people into absolute suspension. This is about hibernating the great and the good to sleep it out until the planet's fit for habitation again. So how long will we be frozen? I don't know. Weeks. Weeks? We were down there for weeks. Frozen in a train carriage while an asteroid from Mars blows up the planet. You know, no. I had a mate once. Said he was kidnapped by creatures from another planet. One minute he sat there watching Match of the Day. There's a blinding light. Next thing he knows, there's some bug-eyed spaceman shoving a robot up his ass. Please, <laughs> stay off my side. My heart stopped and I wasn't breathing. I would be dead. At absolute zero, molecular entropy ceases. You didn't die because your body didn't need anything to survive. Your heart wasn't beating, but your system didn't need the blood. You couldn't digest the food in your stomach, but your muscles didn't need the sugar. You weren't breathing, but no oxygen was required. You were frozen. <laughs> but you understand? Do you all understand now? You were frozen, and the world has been destroyed. Oh, <laughs> police are not so rubbish. Oh. But there are no bodies. There'd been a major disaster, there would be bodies strewn all over the place. But there are also no people. So there's obviously been an incident. But they could have been evacuated. So there will be a field centre with a medical unit and a crisis team operating somewhere in this vicinity. So finally, somebody's speaking some sense. Yeah. I'm going to get help. Well, I'm coming with you. Me too. Yeah, well, I'm not standing here listening to Doomsday. Listen, there. you don't no. know what's out there. Hey, listen to you. It's gibberish, woman. Now look, there will be an answer to this. The ring. Eh. Uh, it's just the ring now. Multi neuron disease took her. Not rocks from space. Funny thing is, I wasn't going to get that early train. Margaret said I should stop for a bit of lunch, but I wanted to get back. David was coming home tomorrow been in the Greek islands on a sailing boat with Terry. 
I really liked Harry. David was dead nervous about me meeting him, but... I may not be the most modern person in the world, but I could see when my own son was happy. David needed shirts for work, so I thought I'd get home early and crack on with the ironing. I thought when he came home, he'd appreciate... talking about him in the past. Like he's already gone. Please be in the bunker. I'm here. I made it. Maybe you can hear me even though I can't hear you. So listen, Jonathan. I'm gonna find you. Wait! Where are you going? There's some bloke, Guppy. Geddes. Jonathan Geddes. Oh, whatever. He's alive. She's been trying to contact me. You know someone who can help us. Why didn't you say anything? The party's over. Listen. Maybe they're like, you know, sniffer dogs or something. Maybe it's help. Found. Oh, I don't like the look of them. Let's get out of here. It's underneath us. It's been there for years. This used to be the select part of town. There's no one. Get this. No. Come out of your government hole. Where are you? Look at the vegetation. Impact must have thrown up half the Zambian jungle. With seeds and spores. 
carried around the world. I've read about this. I've, I've talked about it. Come on, you. Job. This is cash. It was cash. That's why Ian knew you. You're a thief. Ah, freelancer. Boss boy. Right, now, down to business. How long will be frozen? Answer me. This is a Mercedes van. She'll run till doomsday. We're about doomsday. Come on. Oh, honey, you're burning up. Yeah. Oh, a couple of hot babes, aren't they? <laughs> I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to get 20 bobs either. I want to go home. I know, sweetie. So how many boyfriends you got on the Golden? None. I don't like boys. No, why? 
Daddy's girl, are we? Dad will find us. No, he will. That's what he used to say. I'll find you. Wherever you are, I'll find you. Push! I am pushing! Harry, I thought you said you'd done this before! Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, Casey. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, what's sh happened? There's nothing there. It's just ruins. Ruins and nothing. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, what did you see? I'm so sorry. Look, we've been going round in bloody circles here. It's right. Turn right, turn right at the end. No, hold on a minute. Haven't we been here before? Do you know where you're going? Will there be others with this Jonathan Geddes? Eh? Harriet! Uh, no! We go back for the others. What? In the long term, it's better that we find Jonathan. Then we can help them. No, bullshit. We go back for the others. Look, there are children back there and it's raining battery acid, for Christ's sake. Whose van is this? Stay where you are. talking about? I'm talking about a party in the ways, mate. I'm talking about me driving off in my van. We need that van. Me? Sorry? We need that van! There is no bunker and there is no Jonathan 
Whatever. Hold on. Oi. No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. You no, get no, out of no. my van. What's going on? But you said you'd take us. That was before I saw it out there. It's over. I'm going alone. No. I won't let you go. Hey. It's my oh, van. Yeah. Please. We just sat on a train together. I don't know any of you lot a thing. Oh, yeah. And where are you going to go, Nick? Hey? Hey? Hey, because you're the one who's got a great way of escaping, aren't you? You're the man with the plan, aren't you? So how are you going to get out of this one? Why don't you just do yourself a favour and listen to me? You're still playing scout leader, detective sergeant. You only work when there are rules. And there aren't any rules anymore. You get this, copper. The only person I trust to look after me is me. No one is asking you to look after us. In fact, that's the last thing I want. But this man is a lifeline! We do not survive if you drive off! You're right! You know one last five minutes out there. And what am I gonna do? Follow you! Look at you. You look like something a cat dragged in. You bastard. Yeah! Bastard world! Look, forget about me, but at least take the kids. Give them a chance! We can find this bunker together, all of us! Look. Hey, they're dead. Everybody's dead! <laughs> the whole planet could be dead. And you want to add to the body count. It's okay to be scared. No, 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 we can, we can find the bunker together. Look, I, I have access. I have clearance. There'll, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be oh. nutrient food down there. There'll, there'll be bedding, you know, all sorts. <laughs> Even people. Anything is possible with John. <laughs> Come on, let's try. Let's, let's just give it a try. You know, what can we lose? Get out of my van! Hey, for Christ's sake, there's kids here! Until I do, I decided that I'm going in this van of yours. So if you don't want that, you'll have to kill me. Anita Nixon, age 10, day one. When I shut my eyes, I can still see the people. I can hear their televisions and smell their cooking. And then I open my eyes again. And even though it's only been a short while, it's like they never were. of Anita Nixon, age 10, day two. Five billion people lived on the earth. Now there's just us and maybe a man called Jonathan who has survived in a bunker under the city. Except they can't find a good way back there. And everyone is so upset because they want to find their homes and families. And we're so thirsty. Stop the van. Stop the van, please. What? My parents live here. No wonder you I know this place too. Stop here for a minute.
Where are we going here? I live here. We were staying at her mother's place. I was having this bungalow built out of town. A new home for a new baby. States, do I, Mum? Studying law, everyone said how difficult that would be. I was good at it. London, I, I know how you felt about that, but I've got a life going down there, a good one. I should have come back more often and shown it off to you. I'm here now. I think I've made my first mistake. A big one. I can't have this baby. Can you understand? I can't. Ian, we should get back if we're going to find this bunker of Elliot's. No. No, it's all right. Maybe they didn't die. Maybe they got away. No. They're dead. Everyone's dead. I've been here before. When Mo died, it took a long time. In the end, she couldn't even blink. They had to put drops in her eyes. Then when she went, the world looked a lot like this to me. But the colour did come back. Given time. Let's just see what's around the next car, Ray. Too flashy for the end of the world? Hey. What do you reckon? Done? Huh? Oh, you nothing. I would swallowed any of that. 
What? Leo, what was I telling you last night? What were we talking about this morning? Leo! Leo, wait! My lips feel like they've cracked. I'm so scared, Mummy. Now listen to me, honey. I'm going to be here for you no matter what. Are you listening? Yeah. Whatever you go through, I'll go through it with you. Did you find them? How are you doing? It's the same as you. Yeah. Where is he? Where's Leo, Mick? Oh, be careful. Let's find this bunker, eh? It's a 400 pound suit, isn't it? Hello. <sighs> Ta da! Ah, an angel gave it to me. <laughs> Luigi, you've let this place go so down market. So, What's off today then? Everything? We're in exactly the same spot. I thought you said it was left and then left again. The MOD don't put their secret surveillance centres in the travel guides. I thought this was it. Right, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Harriet, can I see that a minute? Let's just, um, just update the show. Remember the burlap Feynman accounts? <laughs> remember chewing them to little pieces. And remember me getting the blame for them. <laughs> remember? Eat my shit! Eat my shit! This is a bunker. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You okay? Mm. Probably crawling with dogs Look, or disease. Underneath this building is a sealed military unit built to withstand full thermonuclear war. <laughs> the bunker has its own power supply. You know, it's really not so bad. After what I've seen, I really thought the devastation would be a, a lot worse than this. It's just a few months after impact. I thought you said weeks. She said weeks. Oh, we're still talking weeks. Just a hundred of them, eh, Harriet? Four or five months at most. Look, I'm sure the team is still underneath here. We have to find the entrance. 
Get it. It's dead. There's nothing here. Oh, keep your on, Mabel. Leave it. Make the man's had a rough day. Oh, excuse me. Well, I break down inconsolably. Still, I suppose we're all allowed to lose it once in a while. Like yesterday, when you ran off leaving the others. I didn't run off. I told you we got separated. Separated? Sure you did, Officer Hart. Oh, stop it, both of you! Oh, kids have better behave. This is locked. Down here. Looks like a barricade. Ever seen a prison, right? I have to go. I have to find him. You said water, so where do we find it? You said water! You said water! Harriet, Harriet! Where's the water? There are, there are tanks under this floor that take thousands of gallons. It's a recycling unit connected to the urinals. I've seen the plan. Right, so we're fighting for gallons of recycled piss. It's pure. You can drink it if you can get at it. Where are you going? I'm going with them. No, you're not. Come in. What now? Find Jonathan. You think he's still here? Jonathan could seal himself away. And no matter what happened to the rest of the team, I know he would have protected himself. You're always sick. She's always getting stomach pains. And Dad. He'll try really hard to cheer her up. Never did her any good. Well, I promise you I won't be getting any more stomach pains. You left, Dad. You left him! Yeah, and that's why we got the early train. She wanted us out the house before he woke up. Save it for another day, eh, Leo? She left him there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oi. No bodies, eh? Come on, Constable. way for you. Everybody else in this company have been flattened by an asteroid. The lintel of culpability must therefore pass to me. Devereaux. <laughs> Get fired. And your membership to the Executive Sports Club is now invalid.
Come on, quick, I'm getting covered in pee here. <laughs> God, it stinks. <laughs> Why do you think that's funny, dear? Are you actually doing anything useful or just making a mess? Will you relax, missus? Patience is a virtue. Can I help? Yeah, you can make us a nice pot of tea. Toast us a couple of crumpets. Right, Leo, get yourself over here. Now, if this lovely water starts coming through, well, you take a firm grip on that faucet over there, that red tap, yeah. and turn her off, OK? Yeah. Sure about that? <laughs> You're right. Maybe we can get through to someone. The satellites. Communication satellites. Hundreds of them. All dead. Abandoned. It's a satellite graveyard. Nobody's talking to anybody. He won't be needing this. Isn't there anyone you're grieving for? Look. Tutankhamun's in better nick than him. Let's it just get out. Makes no of sense, it. Jonathan. I don't understand you. I thought we had this all planned out. Planned? Planned what? She's never been apart. It was supposed to be time, and it was all happening so fast. You... Suddenly the clock was ticking. Planned to be on a train with a gas that was going to freeze you both down here? No. Canister is just an insurance. Oh. Me a fighting chance if I got stranded. Get underground. Get into the cold somewhere secure. Sleep out the worst of it. <laughs> it's not what we planned. 
<laughs> you and he were going to sleep down here together, all nice and cosy, while the rest of us all went to hell. This whole place was sealed tight as a drum. We didn't need to freeze. All we had to do was wait until after the first stage of impact trauma, then we could get up top. When my wife and child died. There's no time. The world's too big to save, and there was no time. He was waiting for me, and I promised. You just let everyone die. Right, that's it. Mr. Gettys is starting to freak me out sitting there. Let's go. So, here we are. It's 7.30 a.m. GMT on Monday the 19th of April, 1999. Good, apocalyptic sounding year. In less than two hours' time, the world we know will be over. Why am I making this tape? When I know you're going to get here in time? I don't know. Maybe I just need to talk. Only to myself. The sealing order has been given. The lads at the station are going out of their minds. Thank God they send them in here barely potty trained. But I've got you a clearance, so you'll have no trouble getting in. I miss you. First few quakes must have shattered most of the buildings. Billions of tons of earth will have been thrown up into the atmosphere, caused by the impact. It'll quickly smother the planet like a shroud. Listen to what is happening outside my room. <laughs> Pennigan's wake. Moans Day, Tears Day, Wales Day, Thumps Day, Fright Day and Shatter Day. Didn't you even try, Harry? It's my fault. You didn't give me any time. Harry, we're leaving now. Come on, let's go, eh? Yes. How many weeks now? Don't know. A lot. Temperature took a turn. Minus 35 up on the surface. We call it an impact winter. <laughs> I wrote a report on that, remember? It's all happening now, and anyone who's survived long enough is uh, being killed. Over 80% of the arable land is ruined. It don't work. 80% of the livestock destroyed. Human culture. Right at the door. You always loved your statistics, didn't you? I'm Anita. Who are you? Can you talk? Can you sign? Me. Anita. Alison Bowden's mum was deaf. She taught us how to sign. I love boy boy zone. <laughs> Get 
dinosaurs had 150 million years in charge. We get two million. Hurry, the swamp will not work on the door. If you're playing this, you've made it. And you are in hell. Not imagined hell. Real hell. I'm so sorry. It would have been better if you'd fallen asleep and not woken up. Damn it, Jonathan, you didn't have to stay here. You had the jeep. That was a bloody point. There was a place for you. My mind. Place? You want to go on? What place? Who cares? Just open the bloody door. Are you even capable? of survival. Survival is in everyone. Everybody. You just have to dig it out. Like diamonds from the rock. So for now. What's happening here? He's ringed it. It's a good sign, isn't it? That girl, I mean. It means there are other people, other survivors. I lost her. She vanished. Well, what's happening? What is this? What is this? What's happening here? Shit's occurring. Hey? Wait, I'll back home for any of us. I'll come with you. Oh. No, what's this? Pressure's going up. Oh man, my sinuses. I don't do well in aeroplanes. It's part of the big conclusion. Yes. And what exactly does that entail? Putting me out of my misery. He's decided. Better for us just to close our eyes and never wake up. This ball bag of shit that you love is a bloody nutter. Dad would have been asleep when it happened. He wouldn't have known anything about it. You ran out on him, Mum. Leo, your dad and me have been growing apart for a while. Deciding to leave when I did. It just happened. It was as inevitable as his asteroid. And just as out of the blue when it hit. If you hadn't dragged us off in the middle of the night, I'd still be with you. We'd all be dead if I hadn't have done that. Look, I know it's hard to understand. You know Ross is dead as well, don't you? Who are you gonna shag now? Stop it! Your dad used to buy me flowers when I got one of my stomach pains. Do you never wonder where those pains came from? Please. Little punches, just under the ribs here. Quick, so they wouldn't bruise. Of course, once he had time to sleep it off, he was full of guilt. Do you get the picture? You're a liar. Yeah. You're a liar! I don't, you shut up! Something's really wrong here. I knew it. Something's wrong. Keep it up. I'm not sitting around waiting to pop like some champagne bottle. Just right up, you'll be crushed. Harriet! Come on, man. Let me think. Think! Harriet! Harriet! Is there a way? No. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah no, I'm scared here, man. Are you going to help us out? Oh, I don't know if I want to get out. Go on this way. It's a bloody maze. What do you know about computers? Nothing. We 
you did know about the first road job, didn't you? What? I'm sure you did. Don't be modest. But you didn't that time. Yeah, well, it wasn't from a recognized source, was it? Who made that glorious decision? <laughs> oh, it was you, Detective Sergeant. You knew it was a sweet job. We were in and out before the local plot had time to get their helmets. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, who was it, eh? Does it matter? Well, you're small for ice size. You could pull off a job like that without some serious backup. A trained chip could have worked that out. Mind you, eh? Who was it? We would have had that cast eh? down in London before the sunset. You boys, you would have been hauling people in, banging the interview room tables, getting nowhere. You weren't a table banger, though, were you? Hey, who are you working for? Give me a night. You were a quiet patient, was it? Hey, you, you could go for hours. Job. You were an interview dynamo. Give me a name. Oh, you weren't even gonna nick me when you had the chance. I was only guessing about you at Ferris Road anyway. I had a little bit on my mind, didn't I? Give me a name. What name? Give me a damn name, Sizer. The difference does it make? Your boss is dead, my boss is dead. Give me a name. What name? You nicked, you bastard! Fuck the pops in the hands of any working judicial system! You're bloody nicked! Give me a name! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I can't make out a tail of it. Uh, all right. Did you have a pet when you were a kid? Guinea pig. What was its name? Boris. Right. This way then. <laughs> what? Shit. There must be panels over here or something. What? What the hell was this guy playing at? He could have frozen himself. Like us. Why die? Oh. Damn. She said he was a survivor. Where were you going? Tell me everything. There was a place. What place? Park. Somewhere in Scotland. Jonathan could join them. All the people in hibernation. The people that were chosen to survive. I can make it up there. I was going to go with him. He's the one who freeze himself down here, hey? Look! You had to stop! Likes his games, doesn't he, your boy? His games. Even when I first knew him. Games and tests. Yeah, but well, is he going to go stir crazy down here, eh? When he's got the means to put himself under. Is that the man you know, Harry? The type of man who sits in a chair and waits to die? He said survival was inside everyone. <laughs> If I can't survive this, then I can't survive out there and find him. What the hell are you talking about? They'll be a swipe card. They don't work. He's not dead. What? You. Any place to keep it? So we're going to blow this door open. What for? To get at something. Or someone. Nice one, Boris. What's this? Sorry. It's an active satellite. Well, I, I, um, I can trace the source. It's, it's from Mark. It's from Jonathan. Ian! Someone's out there. Help! I can hear something. It's in. It's. It's in. It's. I bypass an 80 grand beamer. I can do this. Spiral. Gamowick. That's where you Inside. Inside everyone. Inside everybody. Oh, hell. Oh, I can't do that. The pressure will blow the door open out there, right outside. We'll try Get back! Get, Get away from the door! Get back! What are they doing? Get away from the door! Wait!
okay? Yeah. I don't believe it. We made it. to last us. Where are we going? Scotland. Galloway. The Ark. I can find them now. This is the tracker Jonathan left. I can find him. And others. Survivors. The great and the good, eh? How far are we talking? 160. 180 miles. We'll get 120 out of that, Ben. Fancy bumping into you lot. I thought you'd all be dead. We thought you were. How did you find us? Um, just luck, I suppose. I managed pretty well. All those years <laughs> down the executive gym have finally paid off. <laughs> it's good. Can we go now? Will we still be frozen after all those months? Who? The people at Ark. Months? Months since what? Since the impact. It's not months. I thought you'd have found that out. It's years. What? I found a grave. The date said 2013. Oh. You didn't know. 14 years? We've been frozen for 14 years! of Anita Nixon. I'm not sorry we are leaving the city. We're going to Scotland, a place called Ark. It's a long way. We know it could be dangerous, but we have to go. Harriet says that's where our future is. People. Our people. But we're leaving her. And I'm worried because I think she needs our help. The last train continues at the same time next week.
have Anita Nixon, age 10, day 3. One minute the rubble was all around us, and the next it was gone. Now there really is nothing. We have to find Ark. I'm scared, but I know that it'll be alright. I'm so hungry. I'm more than hungry. I'm... What's a good word for hungry? Me. Where would you say we are? The blessed middle of nowhere. Well, somewhere south of the border. Uh, County Durham. Any good restaurants in County Durham? You know we haven't got enough fuel, don't you? You know that, don't you? You know we're probably going to starve to death, don't you? What if we went east? Newcastle, Sunderland. Those places could be in the same state as Sheffield. There's bugger all out here, Ian. Nothing to eat, nothing to drink. You said things would be better out here. I'm so hungry, I didn't know it could feel like this. Why don't you just shut up about it? Look, we could be as little as 80 miles from Ark. Did you see that? It looks like someone's signaling. Oh, yeah. There. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Leo, stay. What is wrong with him? Maybe he's special needs. Here? You know, like Mark Wesley. Hello. All special needs, mate. There must be someone here. We saw a signal. Yeah, there's bound to be a welcome party. Hello? Torch, we can charge off the battery. No sign of life. It was a trick of the light. Anything else in that shed? No, just bits and bobs. Oh, bits and bobs. Well worth a detour then. I mean, it would have been a tragedy if we'd missed out on bits and bobs. There's no food. Well, of course there isn't. What did you expect? The people who lived here have been dead for 14 years. No, they kept going a long time. Fix what they could. Kept the place insulated. After they burnt the stockpile, they started on the furniture. Must have been so cold. They would have spent the evenings huddled around this fire, looking for reasons.
Theo. Theo. Don't be stupid. You're becoming what they call a liability. Yeah. <laughs> Spice them out. I don't see any rabbit holes. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Perrier, but it could still kill you. What are you doing? You don't know how to use that. <laughs> it's clean. Oh, cracking. <laughs> if this still kills you, then pour me a pint. I'll go out in style. Uh, Leo, bed. Well, go on. Dad standing there. I think we should stay here a while. It's proper shelter. It's warm. It's warm and it's dry and we'll all starve to death. No, the traps will come good. And there's fresh water now. I vote we, we stay here, we rest up and we get ourselves strong. I can't believe I'm hearing this. We're 80 miles from civilization. We're so close. We're not up to it yet. You should trust me. Hmm. I and mean, let's face it, the only reason you people have the slightest inkling of what's happened to you is because of me. You what? Because you're the girl in the know. Aren't you, Harriet? The top scientist, a very, very important person. So perhaps you'd like to tell us exactly what this base looks like. Classified. There are no photographs. How big is it? I don't know. Will there be room for us? Beds, dorms, cabins? How does that work? Who runs this place? Will we be welcome? Are they guards? How long will they let us stay? Harriet? This place, this place we're running to, this place we're risking our lives to find, what's it like? I was there when Geddes spoke to you, remember? You're only here because of him. You're only here because he wants you to be here, aren't you? If it wasn't for him, you'd know as much about Ark as we do. Oh.
Well, that settles it. The water's gone, we'll have to move on. We give the traps another day. We've got no choice now, Ian. Someone should take down the well like Harriet did last night. No. She's confusing. I... You? No. Again? Leave it out, Mick. It ain't worth it. How could you? Mick! <sighs> Mick, don't be stupid. Tell me you didn't do it. <sighs> Give me a reason to let go. Come on, Mick. What's done is done. <clears throat> What's the point? We can't stay here. We have to go the distance. But I can get us there. I swear I can. And if Ark doesn't exist? We kill you. Seem fair? Maybe it'll commit suicide. I love 
boy zone. I told her that. Seven months gone. She's just a kid. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Mum. Mum. <laughs> Mum. Mum. Anita. What's your name? What's your name? Hild. Hild? I'm Harriet. Leave her alone. Speak to me. Hild! Speak to me. She's not in the laboratory. Leave her alone. I want to hear her language. She doesn't have to do what you say. Speak. 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 Oi. We say ba. Ah. Come on, you say it. Because oh, you smell like you need one. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oi, get off! My name's Ian. Hills, right? I won't hurt you. I just want to know why you followed us. You have a family. Are they, are they looking for you? Are they dead? I just want to know how many survived, that's all. Hill. Hill! Maybe it's your manly odor upset her. You should have showered last night. She's running from something. It bothers me. You know, Ian, just so you know, a mirror works both ways. Hey, it's all right. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we go for the porker. How do we get down there? Oh, that's the easy bit, boys. Give 
How do we know it will hold? We don't. Do any of you great white hunters actually know how to hunt? Colin does. Eh? Yeah. Colin hunts. Oh, certainly. I have in the past, yeah, on the... Uh... Why the hell didn't you say something? Well, I'm more of a shooting man. I'll tell you what, Cole. We find that pig, you can shoot it. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Be careful. This roof could come down on you. Ready. Job done smartish. What's up with you? Oh, I'm close spaces. I was locked in a shoe cupboard for three hours by my sisters when I was a child. I think I can understand where they were coming from on that one. It, it helps my heart rate if I shallow breathe. Take a route, any route. Maybe we should go back up top and have a little rethink. Look, I'm not leaving till we bring home the bacon. How about we split up, whoever finds it calls the others. Back here in ten, okay? I'll, uh, wait here, uh, you know. In case it doubles back, like. Best before 1999. Weren't we all? <laughs> I hope they're okay down there. Ian'll see him right. Ian. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, it's crossed my mind. But now's not the time or the place, is it? Why saving yourself for anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was crude. <laughs> it just somehow seems easier to be glib about it all, you know. <laughs> so how you doing? Um, trying not to think too much. How long? Ten weeks. Well, and fourteen years. Though I can't have it, so don't go asking me if I thought of any names, really. That was me with Leo. I was 16 and I wasn't pregnant. Just wind. With my second baby... But it's not a baby. I'm only 10 weeks. But it'll probably die anyway. If it's anything like its mother, it won't. Look. You can't help me with this. I was going home to get rid of it. Danny didn't know. Well, I didn't know myself, I suppose, but that would have been the outcome. Now, Danny's gone. My parents are gone and the abortionist is gone, but this is left. We're alive. Your baby's alive. Things could be I can't. Worse. I can't have it. What, because you're scared? Doggo, go, that's nothing new. If this was me, you'd be telling me that my baby just became one of the most important in the world. And I'd cry. And you'd tell me that you'd be there every step of the way to hold my hand. We haven't got anyone else, you're right. But we've got each other.
about now. My patience stretches just so far. a big cat or a panther or something. I've lost my blood. It needs cleaning. It'll probably bruise. It's just a scratch. Wait. You mean, you mean I'm not dying? No quicker than the rest of us. I'll get some water. But, but I saw so the tunnel of light. Dangerous to go back down. Mick, that pig is already lunch for something else. Then I'll kill the something else and we'll eat that. Look, don't look at me like I'm some kind of lunatic. We've got to eat. Let's go get some grub. Oh, heck. Yorkshire's answer to Rambo. What are you right? Track then.
Playing it anyway. I just thought you could do it next time. What are you going to do with this, eh? Pick its teeth. You want to get your head bitten off by him. We're in a load of trouble down here because of you. We're lost because of you. You were lost anyway. They want us to have struck on my own. I've always been best on my own. You never got this far by yourself. Oh, really? You think? Yeah, think. if I'm thinking about it too much. Sing me a song. Anything. Anything that comes into your head. I'm serious. Something from the chart. Anything. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. And by now, you should have somehow realized what you thought it did. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. I know the road has me walk a winding. I know the lights that light the way are blinding. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know. Come 
gonna be the one that saves me. going to do this it's not a crime we are starving however we do it will somebody do it quickly why don't you do it then Jean you haven't let off of our starving you after the last two days so go on that isn't fair stick it in the heart where is the heart Push the blade through its eye into its brain. Oh, God. I'm just being practical. There'll be no bone to get through. Somebody just do it! Okay. I think we should ditch her. I met another one like her, only it was... A lot older and about ten stone heavier, and he tried to attack me. Why? And tried to kill me. It, it's a miracle I got away. Why the hell didn't you say sooner? I think he's looking for her. She's on the run. And let me tell you, if the man I saw was an example of her people, then they don't look like the sort to give up easily.
Leo. Come on. I came to talk to you. Sorry, I'll come back when... I just wanted to apologize for walking away earlier. It's okay. It's crazy, isn't it? I've been a widow for 14 years. It's not your fault. It's me. Sometimes I think I'll never close my eyes and not see her face. Smell her hair. Other times I have... I have to fight to keep her image in my mind. Why do you do that? Why do I do what? You look at me as if I'm some sort of oddball who's just struck up a conversation at the bus stop. <laughs> I didn't realise I was. No. Sorry. That's Lorraine. Thirtieth. She's beautiful. Mm. And that's Scott. And that's Paul. I just wanted you to know that I was that I was a person with a life too. Dad had been proud of me today. You were very brave, Leo. <sighs> so I wasn't a liability. <laughs> Where's Mum? Look, I don't want any more domestics, Leo. I'll go find it. Tonight. 
six and age ten, day four. Today we have eaten is a big deal for us and I'm very pleased. Another big deal is that Mum and Leah have made up and I think that everyone is stronger now. The last train continues next Thursday at 9 o'clock. Take up the slack. That's it, you're all right now. You hold on to it. All right now. No, yeah. no, you wait on to it. Like that? You wait on to it. Yeah. All okay. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're okay. Yeah. Don't try to move her! Don't push until I say. Now push. Down. Hard. <laughs> Good sign. That hurt. I take it. Is, is my back broken? I don't know. No, no. I don't think so. No. no. Chandra, look at me. Chandra, look at me. You think after all this, God could lay off just for a day? 
Crash dummies they put through car windows. <laughs> you know, just keep tossing me at a wall and I'll keep bouncing back. Maybe not this time, though, eh? You're not going to die. You've come this far, haven't you? Survive the end of the world. You're a survivor. I'm going to pull you out. So no giving up. Out, Chandra, no problem. No problem. How you doing, Chubble? Okay. Leo? Uh, he's safe. Jacket, Colin. I'm chilly. Oh, few. No probs. You're gonna be fine, you know. I swear to God. Right as raised soon enough. You think so? I know so. Leo found you and her together, didn't he? That's what freaked him out. We're down here trapped like rats in a barrel. And she's all messed up because you couldn't keep in your pants. How come four billion people died and you survived? I guess I got a lucky bonus for it. Then it's too far. And it scrolls back to Beckham. Beckham feeds out to Giggs. Giggs, he tearing up the left wing now. Look at him go. He dodges his marker. Crosses to York. And Dwight York has a shot on goal! Oh, oh it's so blind.
don't care what the weatherman says when the weatherman says it's raining you won't hear me complaining i'm certain the sun will shine i don't care where the weather vane points if the weather vane points to gloomy you won't hear me complaining i'm certain the sun will shine Thanks. Maybe we were better off at the farm. It was stupid of me. Wrecking the well. It's done. Forget it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's the thought of Jonathan. Ark. Yeah, it makes me a little mad. I'm sorry. Harriet, I don't regret that we kept going. You were right the first time. It is our only hope. It's not just her back, is it? Uh, I can't say. Medicine, it was just an interest inherited from my father. If I take a I guess, didn't ask for a family history, Jean. Just tell me she's going to live. I don't know. I don't know if any of us are going to live. Leo! I thought down there, did you get it? No! Come back. Come back. Leo, come back. Yes. We won't even be in this mess, my dad was here. I tell you that for nothing. I can't stand it. My dad took me to the footy. My dad built me a fortress in the back guard. My dad got me Dwight York's autograph off a mate at work for 50. Leo! Your old man can't be so flaming great. Or else why would you be running away from him? We give it back! I'm not messing here, last man you. And you! I don't take the Dwight York is worth Dwight the name York. of you. That's what? You swallow it? Oh. I don't believe you. What have you done? <coughs> what have you done? <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. Yeah. 
If we can get her to this art place, she'll be right as Ray, won't she? We've still got 70 or 80 miles to go. all its tributaries. If it's the same way all along, we're looking at an 80, 100 mile meter. Well, unless this murk was made by the same bloke who built Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, I say we're stuck. What do you propose doing with that? There's a lot of junk around here. We can build a raft. What, to carry the van? Get a grip? Well, we paddle across in groups. We can't get around this water. He's got a point. It'll take up all the fuel we've got just getting round. We've got a sick woman in there. Let's give it a try. There's a place. Place? What, what? Place?
place. They can help. I can't go. Who are they? Hilt? Tell us. I can't go. Hey. What's the matter? If we're going in there, then it's important that you tell us. Is it the baby? Hilt? What will happen when we walk in there? They can help you. But I can't go. Hilt! No, it's a bad move. And we don't know anything about these people except that Hild is frightened of them and one tried to attack Colin. So all we know is that they've got good taste. He was a vicious thug. It was a miracle I got away. But he didn't actually attack you, did he? He charged me. He had a gun, a big one. Well, yeah, well, we've got weapons. It doesn't mean they're aggressive just because they're carrying guns. Come on, these are people like us. 14 years in the shit, but ostensibly us. Why'd you have to go? You've got nowhere. So it was stupid. that you're going to be fine? It's only the camp. Hi, the hi. Hello? Austin, keep it yourself for a moment, eh? Well, we're either here to find him, are we not? Yeah, well, just quiet. Do you know what I mean? We split into two groups. Or we just turn around and get the hell out of here. I like that plan better. Two groups, then? I got chills, mate. And they're multiplying. Look at it. I don't want to go poking around any more crappy old buildings. I want to get rolling. I saw smoke. Could have just been a fluke. You're frightened. Ian! No prizes for their culinary skills. Still warm.
They came here to die. I know. This place is a grave. We will find another way around the water, but we're leaving. They came in hope, and then they died. Oh, shh. We're leaving. We'll find the others, and we'll get the hell out of here. <laughs> I used to go to places like this when I was a kid. This is where they used to put the machine guns, in case anybody tried to escape from the Nobly Knees contest. I think we just found what we're looking for. You've got your main gate here, then it's open ground. Play area or something. Very exposed, but quiet as the grave, so we should be all so right. So there's only three of these people, yeah? We only saw three. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not sure about the whole idea. It's a doddle. Three monkeys, six of us. <laughs> look, some of us create a diversion, da -de dum They run off to have a look, da -de dum We nick the boat. Dingy. da -de dum <laughs> That's the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Look, chill out. This is how I made my living for 15 years. Yeah, and you spent half of that time in the nick. Shut up, you. Why don't we try talking to them? Let's be civilised about this, yeah? Oh, you mean formally introduce ourselves? Yeah. I say, would you mind awfully if I nicked your boat? Look, they're not going to help us. I saw them. They're in no better state than we are. Sorry, we just go in. Look, just think about that boat. We need that boat. We take the boat, we get across the water. Yeah, but we don't hurt anyone. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Of course. Well, we don't hurt anyone. Well, if it's done right, there won't be a need to hurt anyone, will there? Jean's going to stay with the children. Please don't let Leo follow. He will. You saw something over there. I can see in your eyes. Ghosts. Just ghosts. Do you dance? Dance? You know, get down. A little night for you. <laughs> you think there'll be a club there, do you? Love dancing, that's all. Make me a promise. When we get to Ark and I get patched up, dance with me. I'm telling you, the coast is clear. Mm. Mm. Oi, we're keeping you up. I'm nervous. I yawn when I'm nervous. If they've gone off hunting or something, this could be easier than we thought, you know. What do you think? Not a creature stirring. Let's do it. I 
decisions. I reckon we just hit the jackpot. I think there's just one. So what do we do? I can get to him, but I need some help. Who thinks they can keep up? I'll go. I could. As well as being top of the class, I ran for my university. Yeah, I bet they hated your guts. Detested me. Should we do this or should we talk about my school days? Wide open. What are you doing? <laughs> Was that the same one? I don't know. You're in a laundry. Yeah. A gun. Yeah. Well, we better stop him before he gets one. Wait! 
Times when I heard you downstairs crying. I know what you did. I just, I just thought you must have done something terrible to make him that angry. Should have rescued you a long time ago. Mom.
hope you don't hate me. Why would I hate you? You know, my daddy hit us so hard, it set off the next door's dog, and I never hated him. Well, he was your dad. Yeah, he was my dad. Played football with us. Told us silly stories. Let us lined in the car with him. Oh, yeah. And he'd beat my mum to pieces, and I never stopped him because he was my dad. If he was here now, he wouldn't be so hot. He wouldn't be hunting or risking his life for anyone or any of that. He'd be moaning or flying off on one. All mum ever did was make us feel safe. She deserved a proper bloke. I don't hate you. Even it. I don't care what the weatherman says. When the weatherman says it's raining, you won't hear me complaining. I'm certain the sun will shine. I don't care where the weather vane points. If the weather vane points to gloomy. Don't care what the weatherman says. The weather vein wants to be me.
It's what I see when I shut my eyes. Sunday nights are film nights. We could watch ourselves on the kitchen wall. But no matter how hard I squeeze my eyes shut now, I can't see Mummy. She's not even out of focus. She just isn't in the film at all. Hey? If it's her they won't, let them have her. Sit down, Colin. Oh, she let them right to us, she did. They won't give up, you know that, don't you? Hey? They'll hunt us down, they'll take her, cut our throats for us, or cut off other bits of us. They'd probably eat folk like us. Frighten the kids. Well, keep it to yourself. Looks like we lost them. So do we risk doubling back or we'll cut across country? It's sickness. What are you on about? You'll get sick. You will, it's a warning. There's sickness there. There's a church. Looks like a village or something up ahead. And? Uh, the road carries on. What if Hill's right? That's the St Andrew's Cross. It's a plague warning. No, it's not up for debate. We've got no bloody choice. That wall. That wall up ahead. Looks like it runs all the way around. To keep something out. Or something in. Smell. When I was a PC, I got caught out of his house where an old widow lived. He'd been dead about three weeks, up against a radiator on full blast. This was that smell. We have to go. Hey, you don't call the shots, get it? Yeah, come on, we'd better go. Yeah, well, call me paranoid, but I get the feeling someone wants to keep us out. Well then, let's stop whittering on about it and keep moving. They'll find us easily. Well, they hunt for a living, don't they? But we, we must be the easiest prey in the world. They will run out of fuel in a few miles, and that'll be that. It's just a matter of hours before they catch up with us. And Colin's right about one thing. They are on a mission. And I killed one of them. Killed someone. See? See, I said that. I said they were on a mission. I also said we should dump her and I was banged to rights on that and all. You can't do that. They might kill her. We've just made a difficult job impossible because of you. Why don't you just go back to them? I don't want to go back to them. Why? I don't want to go back to them. I know it smells bad enough, but it was played. Why the booby traps up there? Shreds. Billy goat. <laughs> well, she's gruff enough. Harry, watch those barrels.
little billy goat. Found the sauce and the smell. It's not played. Stay together. This can't be real. It's like everyone just popped out for a minute. Or was snatched away suddenly. There were buildings left standing in Hiroshima, less than a mile from the epicentre of the blast. These cottages, oh, they're solid. Old villages probably built on granite. Bit of work that. Whoever lives here, they're on top of things by the look of it. It could be a godsend. But where is everybody? what I call a pub. They've even got some Buddy Ollie. Well, hang on, just, just hang on. I could sit here and someone could walk through that door at any moment and order a pint. Game of pool, anyone? Count me in. Hey, look, before you get too settled, I think we can assume that we're still being pursued, don't you? Well, maybe they'll take the plague warning seriously. Hill certainly did. Oh, come on. Who oh, that's clutching at straws? You're not excited by this place. Ian. Well, I don't know what to say. It reminds me of my local. That was a flea pit too. <laughs> Stevie, you ain't gone! Stevie, you want to say a prayer for my mum?
somebody living here, you know. I just find clean sheets and blankets and these. <laughs> How did anyone survive out here for 14 years? Harriet, you telling me Ark's going to be any better than this? I reckon we've landed on our feet. Yeah, before we go buying a timeshare in this village, I think we should find out exactly who it is lives here. Yeah, but let's face it, with the river flooded and them blokes on horseback out there, this is looking like a miracle. You understand me? Anita, you okay? If you're here, I'll kill you! Okay. It's okay. Well, this is a bit of a shock for all of us, so... Why don't we start by putting the gun down? I am not an idiot. I can read and write and add up, and so can my daughter, so listen to a smart man when he speaks. The pregnant girl is with us now. She stays with us. If you try to take her away, I'll shoot this one. Do you understand? Fine. It's all right, isn't it? It's a reasonable man. A smart man. We're going to settle this amicably. No problem. But the same, you can see that. So, no need for the gun. Far enough. No one's going to work, yeah? Dad, they're us. Do this. That's right, we are. Survivors like you. You! Over here! Quick! Just do it, Harriet. And the other one! Come on! Whatever it is, can't we talk about it? Does the gun have to be involved? You. How old are you? 25. 31. Please, listen. Where did you come from? It's a bit difficult to explain. You come up from the south. Is that it? Where Jake went? The south? Yeah. That, that's it. The south. We're from the south. And you saw Jake? You saw my brother? Dad! You saw him? We're from the south. And we've come a long way. And you found us. That's right. You are us. You are the dream that I have dreamt. Here. Yeah. That's where we went, you see. We keep ourselves warm, dry. Ah, uh, winds on the surface cut you in half. So this was a mining village, was it? Into the mines with whatever we could carry. You remember? We couldn't hear the screams for the scream of the wind. Do you remember? Now the mines are flooded now, but they saved us once. I don't know about you, it's the headaches I remember. Headaches? Years. Headaches from trying to read by candlelight. Headaches from the bitter cold. Headaches from hunger. <laughs> so, where did you go? Well, we were on a train. Underground? Like you? No, 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 I mean at the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know what you meant. Two brothers built that, clever lads. Turn those terrible winds into power, you see? You see it? 
Save lives. Well, that's all over and done with. You're here. You are here. And that's all that matters, isn't it? The rain ate into our homes, but we repaired them as best we could. You see, in the early days, some ate the dead, some ate the snow. But the snow could kill you back then. What about the people outside? I've noticed you've protected yourselves here. <laughs> no more attacks. They live as alone. They're beasts. They're not like all of us. They're beasts. We stay our side of the wall, they stay theirs. What about the rest of you? Oh, we have waited for this moment. Who cares about the past now? We knew you'd find us given time. We never gave up hope, Gillian and I. We knew we just had to stay here and wait. Well, there's nothing out there but wild beasts. You know that. Can I say a prayer in your church? Our church stays locked. So what exactly happened to the others? They moved on. Not important. Well, I think it's important. I mean, if this place is the big miracle as you claim it is, why would anyone want to leave? How old are you? 32. I've never been kissed. You were not born till 20 years after Apocalypse. What can you know? 20 years? That can't be right. No. Wait a minute. That can't be right. I just want to say a prayer for my mum. Uh, please. The church is unsafe. It stays locked. How old were you, Mark? When the asteroid hit? What? The apocalypse then. How old were you? I was five years old. And I remember. Ian, Ian, tell him. I want to say a prayer in church. Ian, tell him. It's locked. Are you deaf? It's locked! Frozen for 50 years. It's a laugh, isn't it? Yeah. Hilarious. You don't seem that bothered. Well, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm chuffed with myself. Fifty years on, and look at me, still going strong. Like the Duracell bunny. You're not exactly weeping into a spotted handkerchief yourself. Wow. The lyrics might change a bit, but the song remains the same, doesn't it? Yeah, on my head. No. My ball. I found it. Yeah. I made this with fresh vegetables. Don't shake your head. That's no way to behave in somebody else's house. Show a bit of respect. Come on, let you You see what I found? You ever tried eating soup with a straw? The trick is to make sure the big bits <laughs> it's better to use a spoon. Oh, how are you feeling? You're feeling strong. You look strong. You all look strong. You're going to have a strong baby, I know. Whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Wrong baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> we slept for 50 years. Jonathan could have slept for 50 years, too. I can't say anything I haven't already thought of, so don't even try. I'm a scientist. I'm not supposed to put my faith in premonitions, hunches. If he was dead, I'd know. Oh, yes! 
Have a drink, Harriet. Bro? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, please. Booze for Rowena. Thank you very much. Austin? Save us a drop, eh? Yeah. Drop a light. Sorry, I was just... It feels amazing to be clean again, doesn't it? You okay? It's hard seeing all the old things again. Yeah. I was just thinking about all the people I'd love to get steamed with. Who do you think about most? No one. Everything all right, then? Ah. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, how did that happen? This is jammed, I'm afraid. Pull the trigger. The trigger pull is dead, see? Hey, Harriet, have a drink. Will they come? Yeah. What's this? This will blow you along. Hild. Well, Something to drink. What the hell's going on? Who? What are you trying to do to us? Do? Nothing. You've come a long way. You deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hey! You clever boy! You don't really guess me about all this. Now we really know the king is dead. <laughs>
Mum's inside this village. Just like Julian's babies. Nobody can hurt your mum now. You're going to have a baby, aren't you? I heard you and Mum talking about it. When the baby's here, can I hold it? <laughs> Anita, I... Can I? Snuggle down. Night, Mick. Good night, darling. These walls outside this pub doesn't exist. <laughs> I've forgotten how good it all looked. I know you think I'm only good for kicking in the heads and doors, but <laughs> I've been hurting too, you know. Pain's becoming the norm for us, isn't it? I told you there was nothing in there. This village has been sustained by more than just two people. Where are they? You had a son, Jake. He left, didn't he? A lot of people left, one way and another. You know, if this place is so wonderful, Mark, then how come all the others cleared off? You could have your children here. This is where they should be born. You can have children, it's why you're here to help us. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I'm not ready to settle down. Well, the girl is having her baby here. You've taken her, where is she? Killed. I don't know. Listen to me. We are being hunted. And if those people turn up, we are not going to be sitting around listening to Elvis Costello and having babies. We're going to be leaving in a big hurry. saying about her you know what I'm saying she belongs to them and they want a child as badly as you they're beasts and so is she and so is the child you'll stay whatever happens to her <laughs> Make you stay.
Well, that's a relief. I was beginning to wonder if there was anybody under there. It's okay. I'm cool. So you keep telling us. Mick Sizer. Cool name. Did your mother give you such a cool name? No. I kind of christened myself. Sizer. It was an alias. Like in the movies. <laughs> you really want to know, don't you? Mm -hmm. Michael Smith. Your secret's safe with me. like him, they don't care about anybody but themselves. They've never had families. They've never had responsibilities. They don't know about loyalty. They don't know about earning the right. Earning the right for what? I've been looking out for you, you know. We've all been looking out for each other. No, but I've been paying special attention to you, Rob. You've been looking out for me. So don't deny it. Ro. Oh, no, yeah, no, listen, just, just listen. 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 I misread your signals. How can you misread this ghost, Colin? Well, it's any port in a storm these days, isn't it? I'm going to tell the others what you've done. No, no, don't, don't tell them, Ro. Mick, Mick will kill me. I misread the signals. Evidently. <laughs> Just stay away from me. Come on, Mark! Where are you? Just a quiet word about blowing up my flying drive! Mark! Hurry up! What happened to you? Hey. Here. Oh, sorry. I knew they'd find us. Go back, tell the others. 
Give him the girl and they'll leave us alone. No! It's gone beyond that. We killed one of them. Look, Mark may be off his trolley, but you heard what he said. They're evil scum. So what are you going to do? Hold them up. Oh, hey, look, count me out. Hey, listen, I'm not a fighter, all right? I haven't got an aggressive you phone in my body. Go. Colin! Then we go through the gate! There comes a time in every man's life oh. where, he, where he has to face the demon inside. You checking this? Demon inside, I right, checking it. Right. This is your time. Face your demon. My time. Your time. for your discerning street fighter. memory of what we lost alive. Isn't that what churches are for? Wait! Come on! Come on! I've got a stitch! I thought she was the answer. But I was wrong. Perhaps you all are. Give her up! And they will leave. And we can get on. There are roofs to be mended, there are gardens to be sown. Well, that's all it comes down to, Dad. Then why not give me up as well? I'm as barren as the rest of this world. You keep them. You don't need me. What happened to the rest of the village? My brother left. All the young people left. Looking for something else. Something better because it strangles you here. We couldn't have children. We were dying. There is no need to go over all the old... No, friends, you Dad. let me speak! I was one of the last born. And that was 35 years ago. Yes! But it can change now! They're here. And there's a chance. That's what has to happen. There's nothing out there except them. I can see they can get their little shits pregnant. Well, we have to multiply, or they will overrun us like rats. Too late for that. They're in the village. They're not interested in vengeance, merely property. Give her up. They will leave. And then we can live a normal life. We can enjoy our summers. We can take stock for the winters. This is what you're all searching for, isn't it? Stop it, Dad. Maybe he's dead. We were dying for years. Sweeping the streets and pretending everything would be like it was, but it isn't. I grew up in this. It's all I've ever known, and I'm tired of it. 
Everyone got tired. And my brother and a lot of others, they went to find people. Well, people like you, I suppose. People who could carry on with us. Give us children. But they never came back. And the village, it just wound down like one of the old blocks we used to keep going. And then it was decided. Enough is enough. Why pretend it wasn't done with? This is how Mary killed itself. Nobody saw a reason to live anymore. Yes. And then I had to face taking mine and Gillian's lives. I couldn't do that. While there's breath in my body, there is hope. And you came. His breath in his lungs. We can still work on Mabry together and keep the ghosts in the graveyard where they belong. Have you come all this way to die in this church for nothing? She's got to go. Well, I'll kill her myself. Anita, she has to go. She has to go or we're all dead. She's gonna go! I won't leave you. upstairs. She'd be glad I kept it for her. Yeah. No, I think. I think that's right. My mum's inside this little village. Here in my hand. She's not in here, Mick. She's alive. We're gonna find her. Yeah. We are. You bet we are. Come Demon on the nose, eh? Leo.
Come with us. Diary for Anita Nixon, age 10, by her brother. We're leaving the village with all of its dead and nearly dead people. Let them stay in the glass bubble if they want. We'll walk. We'll crawl if we have to until we reach Ark. And not before we rescue my sister. Hold on. Still working there. I'm reading strong. Yeah, there's no way to be certain I'm getting a valid signal. Well, whatever, eh? You see, the moon is just running across the Andromeda cluster, like I showed you last night. Should be a lot lower in the sky this time of year. And our orbit could be askew. Yes. Satellite that feeds this tracker could be wrongly aligned. I mean, it may not be working at all. The planet could be slowly spiralling into the sun. Beautiful, though, isn't it? Moon. I'm saying we could miss Ark by three or four miles, and we never know. I don't think I've ever seen a moon as beautiful as that. I know you think I'm mad to hope that Jonathan's still alive. No, I don't. Come on. Diary of Anita Nixon, aged 11. I've decided today's my birthday. It's day 30-something. To begin with, it was like a strange dream being with them. But now the past seems like a dream. Every day, Hild gets closer to the birth and more and more frightened of what will happen to her. They wait without saying a word. Showing. Tell me to mind my own business if you mind like. Mind your own bloody business. Tell them. They can put you in the car. No, I don't need sympathy. Not from you or anyone else. I'm fine. <sighs> anyway, you're not a father. I don't need you behaving like you are. Well, maybe it takes an apocalypse to make a new man out of me. Ah! Hey, what's going on? 
Lord, I've got a stone in my shoe. did it. Well, it took half a century. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Nick! Nick! Leo! They've cut down there, haven't they? Come on, the moor's there. The camp's dead, mate. It could be anybody's. We could follow them. They, oh, they could have gone in any direction. There's no point in even trying. They're the ones who have her. We have to find her. You promised. I'll come wait. Houston. No. Come on. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're just eleven miles away. We don't need the or anything on there. It'll only show us After down. everything we've been through, I can't believe you've just been that stupid. You can't serve one purpose. Now, now it's surplus to requirements. Oh, Harriet. Oh, come on, think. Just, just stop for a moment and think about it. Think about it in terms of space travel. Yeah, let's do that. What a fun idea. We've dumped the command module, and, and now we're in the landing pod. We're streamlined for splashdown. I'll buy that. It's a symbolic gesture. Oh, well, that's a relief. I thought it was an act of total insanity, but in actual fact, it's a symbolic gesture. I knew my life was short on something. Thanks, Harriet, you've helped me put my finger on it. What I really need right now, when I'm freezing cold and starving hungry, what I really need is a symbolic bleeding gesture! We made it! I told you we would. Oh. It started. I'm scared. This baby won't die, Hild. She was pregnant before. The baby died. We didn't get her there in time. We're almost there, we're almost there. Almost where? That's Ark. You sure? You said this could be out of alignment. It's not what I pictured. Cooling towers for the filter systems. Everything's safe on the ground. The place is deserted. No. Now, don't be fooled. Beneath our feet lies a complex five times the size of the Millennium Dome. Has everything we need. I'm telling you, all the things we've talked about, all the things of home that we miss, are down here under our feet. Well, why haven't the people come up then? We slept for 50 years, maybe they did. Yeah, but could they still be frozen down there? Let's get moving. This place gives me the creeps. The 
is the tower. This must be it. I'll find a way in. Oh, no. Oh, God, not again. Come on, quick, let's get in the tower. Yeah, come on. Wait a minute. What? Nick, what? I don't think we should go trapping ourselves inside that thing until we know what's going on. What? Let's get out of sight over here. Did you see anything? No. Oh, no. Sod this. Why don't you slip out of here just for one minute? It's a bastard who stole my sister. Shut up. You don't know that. Hey! Listen, you wait here. I'll be back. What? Take this. You might need it. But if I get into any trouble, I'll improvise. Give you ten minutes. If I'm not back, get inside that tower. Yeah, but you will be back. Of course. Be safe. How's that? What? I'm coming with you. Don't let anybody else play a scout leader, do you? Look, the only person I trust to look after me is me. Even now? Must be up now. We we'll give him a little longer. Sister, I know they are. Shh. You're angry. We all know you're bloody angry, son. But what good's getting yourself killed? Is that going to help, Anita? What, your son? No, oh, you're a man now. You've lived a lifetime, I know that. Come on, Leo. Go on, run! Get inside! Inside the tower!
Ambrose. Let's in. Technician D level, operating tag 844. 443 get. No, security clearance. Swipe cards. No security clearance. in Ashbourne. I wasn't part of the facilitating team or the hibernating team. I worked with uh, Jonathan Geddes. Well, I know him. sense of all this. Hibernation. That's where they're frozen. That's the amount we could get rid of those primitive bastards. How many are there? Harriet? Be back as soon as I can. Harriet! Ah, shit! Ten minutes. And Geddes had better be happy to see you. Locked from the inside. They've locked us out. 
if we lose another. No, we won't. If it dies. We'll get them out. We must hurry. then. Bits of me, certainly. Why didn't they kill us? Maybe they need us to make up a bridge and... Is she all right? It's my brother and the others. Tell me, are they here? Hey! 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 Look, can we talk? There's no need for this. Yes, there is. Okay. So you can talk. Great. Look. Look. I know you're unhappy about how things have worked out. But all we ever wanted was to get inside this building, yeah? That's all. That's all. Yeah. We know what's getting at you. You think we took your little girl, don't you? But that's not true. She'll tell you. She found us. She came to us and we didn't know who she was, so we protected her. take much more of this. Relax, the military will sort that lot out. Oh really? Confident about that, are you? In actual fact, you do seem quite relaxed, Colin. Got something off your back, have you? Hey? What do you mean, Ro? When you're guarding the door, what did you see? I told you. There were guns going off everywhere. It, it was like the Alamo. And then Mick went down. You saw that? I heard that. I don't think I saw it. I did what I could. You did nothing. do any more. They were everywhere. Because you were jealous. Jealous? What's this all in your Why risk your life for him? Why put yourself forward? Why volunteer? You've never done it in the, in the past. Why not? Bro, you're upset. We all are. This isn't the Did you want to get him out of the way? Is that it? Did you want to stamp the dirt down on his grave, Colin? 
Or is it just a little bit more than that? Hey, steady on. Did you let him die? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Hey! Does that confirm all those nice little doubts that you've been cultivating about me since day one? You've never given me a chance. You've always thought of me as some sort of weirdo. This is just perfect for you now. Because now you can prove yourself to be right. That's enough, Colin. If Nick's dead, it's nothing to do with me. It's because he's the idiot that I always knew he was. And women like you... Yeah, yeah, you love to put yourself up on a pedestal, don't you? But you always end up going off with a scraggy bit of rough. The bloke who tosses you a duff line and leaves you in the lurch. Move! We got knowledge. Stuff you people don't know about. We can pass it on like. Hey! Right. We can help each other. I mean, we're all human beings, aren't we? Just trying to get along. Did you kill him? We can help each other. Well, let's work it out, yeah? Oh, God, no. Did you kill him? Come on. I understand the troubles. Let's talk. Let us in! Jesus Christ. Oh my God, they're alive. Let's talk. You don't have to do this. Leave them alone. Speak to her. Tell them how you feel. I'm scared. Leave your fucking Bastard. Off this. I'm very scared. I'm terrified, OK? I don't know what else you want me to say. Tell them to let us in. Tell them nothing. Tell them nothing. Tell them to let us in.
you out. Don't you let them force you out. We can move her soon. What have you done to them? This place is ours. It's where our children have to be born. We've done what we've had to do. See the house from up here. Austin. Austin. You know what they're doing right now? They're mounting the biggest rescue you've ever seen. Josh, we were around. You know, he's a bugger. Say he'll be up in a minute, love. And that last day in the hospital, she was so tired. She'd had enough. But she was fighting to stay with me. So I held her hand. And I said, You go up. I'll be up in a minute. Fifty years. <laughs> she must be wondering where I am. No, no. I'm tired, Mike. It's time to go up. No. Austin! Austin! Don't leave me. In your mouth.
I'm here. Lots of ghosts today. I'm not the ghost. I'm here. You see, my conceit was I believed I had my will to survive. I forgot. Wrecking a child on a terrible journey. Wasn't ready. You didn't think I could survive. But I did. I found you, like I said I would. You, you don't have to hide down here anymore. The way. The others who thought out with you. Ah, uh, children. Children. Never want what you want. You can't lock yourself away down here. You're dreaming of a civilization that can't exist. Religious person, you know. He's rich. Coming from a man, a man on a cross. I believe in Rome. Rome. I believe. I'll hold her again. Kiss her face. I feel her warm. And she'll kiss all the bruises away from me. She'll do that. Kiss me under the Moorish wall. And I thought, well as well, him as another. And then I asked him with my eyes to ask again. Yes. Don't leave me here on my own. And then he asked me, would I yes? Don't leave me. To say yes, my mountain flower. Ask me! I, I'm, I'm not a big man, really. But first I put my arms around him, yes. I'm, I'm Michael Smith. Yes. And his heart was going like mad. I'm Michael Smith. <laughs> and I'm shit scared. And yes, I said yes. I will, yes. Bastard! <laughs>
Baby will die. But why do this? Why this? We had to. This child can't die. It's more important than all of us. No. You put them up there, though. You get them down. Take her in. Get them down. Get help. Help me. Get her in. <laughs> You did what you had to do. Now we can all move on. Oh, I was an idiot. Leading you here. No, you were the strongest. <laughs> you never wavered for a single moment. You were always true, true as an arrow, Harriet. You gave us hope. You were the only one who could. Where would we have gone if it hadn't been for you? We would have wandered aimlessly, directionless, without a future. We all pulled together, but you pulled us through. How could you do this? She's all right. She's with Hill. Mick, Austin. Frozen here. They left 40 years ago. These are their children. <laughs> children of Ark. Don't you break? <laughs> people we've been looking for. Are the people we've been running from.
diary of Anita Nixon. The people we've been running from are the people we've been looking for. We were born in a train carriage. They were born in Ark. Then no one was born at all until now.